Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Video Devo. Renee here. I'm in Trader Joe's Capitola, and I'm in one of my favorite spots in Trader Joe's Capitola, which is the peanut butter aisle. Look at all of these options you have for peanut butter. Now, of course, there's some peanut butter here that is clearly superior to other peanut butter. I mean, you can tell by the way this, this part of the shelf has been decimated. You've got the crunchy, salted peanut butter, clearly the best. But honestly, the best thing on this aisle isn't even peanut butter. My personal favorite, if I could get a hold of it, is the crunchy, salted almond butter. That's, that's even superior to peanut butter. Now, this is all perhaps you might suggest a matter of personal taste, but Chuck Swindoll tells the interesting true story of how peanut butter preference became a reason that some people left the ministry and even left their faith. Here's the story. There was a young missionary couple new to the field and they were going to a country where you can't easily get peanut butter. And if you've done any foreign travel, you know that that's not unusual. Very few foreign countries share the American love, clearly, for peanut butter. And so they did something clever. They had some friends send them peanut butter regularly in packages so they could enjoy their beloved peanut butter on this mission field. However, all the other missionaries that were associated with this particular project took great offense to this young couple eating peanut butter because they said it was proof that they weren't taking seriously the need to contextualize their ministry. They said, in this country, you can't get peanut butter. And when you bring in peanut butter, it's as if you're saying to the people here, your cuisine is not good enough for us. In fact, your attitude, they said, smacks of Western imperialism or even colonialism. There arose such tension and both parties defending their view based on scripture. You know, the, the new missionary said, well, you're being legalistic. We're free in Christ to enjoy peanut butter. And the existing old time missionary said, yes, but when you enjoy peanut butter, you're going against scripture's admonition to contextualize our ministry. And so they both based their arguments in the Bible and over peanut butter, what eventually happened was that new young couple left the field, left the ministry. I heard that story and I thought, how many times do we essentially take something that's as much a personal preference as peanut butter and elevate it to the level where we divide? Your version of that may be a political view or some other closely, passionately held conviction that you even base in God's word. And don't push it to the point where you're driving away brothers and sisters in Christ. Remember what Paul said in Romans 14, verse 17? We looked at it this last weekend in church. He said, for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, which those missionaries would have remembered that, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit of the Spirit. That's what defines what a true Christian should be, not our peanut butter-like preferences. Remember that, and have a great day. God bless.